Hello folks. Yes, it's that time again. Time for the rover's return. So, uh, quite a bit of work done on this vehicle since uh, you last saw it in video form. So, let's get straight in here. So, our front battery is completely in, uh, fitted and wired up. In fact, the whole HV system is. Everything's tied in here. Uh, we've got some rubber sheeting over the top here to uh, protect us from dropped spanners and things like that. Uh, at the back here, we have our Ampera charger, um, otherwise known as the Lear charger. Uh, this guy, I had to do some modifications on uh, because I didn't have the high voltage connection plugs here. So we basically opened up and made connections inside and brought out um, AC and DC cables. Uh, we've got cooling system is completely plumbed in over here on this side is kind of where the guts of the cooling system is with our fill bottle here which is from an, an Audi A2 uh, down there is our uh, coolant pump which is a Tesla coolant pump and you will have seen before our power steering pump uh, lives down there so apart from that, we've got our orange HV cables here. So we have, uh, these are all coming into our high voltage junction box. Let's get the cover off that for you. So inside here, at the minute, all of the high voltage power cabling is done here. Um, these two lines here bring in our full pack voltage. Uh, so we've got the positive here, the negative here. Uh, we've got the negative main contactor, the positive main contactor, the pre-charge contactor, pre-charge resistor, main, tra main traction fuse, auxiliary fuse. So we'll be using that for things like the, the AC charger and... Um, Oh, the cabin heat and stuff like that. Over here then is our Isabel and Hoot um, current sensor. It's more than a current sensor. It's basically a complete battery management system. Uh, so that is uh, connected in here. The other contactors that you see here are for our Chademo fast charging. Uh, so that is pretty much our high voltage junction box done um, oh there's a, a handy bolt that would have rattled around in there and shorted something out yay so that's in uh, as I say the Lear charger is in over here is our inverter um, for running the two motors uh, this is a Lexus IS 300H uh, hi hybrid inverter uh, with our our open inverter uh, logic board on here this is a um, this is just a simple little breakout board that I made for this inverter uh, some time ago so this will let us get the car moving a uh, couple things we will need to do here you can see we've the the phase wires on here for mg2 which is connected to the rear driving motor at the minute uh, but they're way too tight up against this so we're going to have to section out a little bit of that panel there to accompany them got mg1 here which we will be connecting to the front drive motor so there are three phase cables for that uh, so they'll be going into mg1 because this is a dual inverter uh, so this can run the two motors that are in this vehicle 
so we're going to use the MG1 inverter stage to run the front motor and MG2 uh, to run the rear motor. Um, so here on the side of the inverter with a 23 pin amp seal uh, connector. Uh, so that's where the signals, things like start, direct, direction, throttle signal and that will come in. On the back here we had to machine some brass terminals to fit in here to bring the high voltage in. Because in this case here, normally when these are in the Lexus, the high voltage comes in through these terminals here and goes through the buck boost converter but we're bypassing that and running our HV uh, directly into the high voltage bus um, on our inverter. Uh, so that's coolant, cool, uh, coolant is plumbed into this too so we've got say the full cooling system is done. Uh, what we have left to do before we can drive the car is we've got the low voltage wiring and VCU uh, to do. So I'm going to show you in a minute um, how we're going to do the VCU for this particular build. Uh, but first of all, just to refresh your memories, we have our two charging ports here on the front, our AC charging port here on the right, and our Chidemo DC fast charging port on the left. And I have to work out some kind of a strategy for hinging this front grille here. So any suggestions on that would be most welcome. Because um, this obviously has to work with the bonnet closed. Now for the bad news. Um, the Bonnet latch managed to break one of the cables, so this uh, side of the bonnet latch doesn't release, but I was fortunate in that I could get a spanner in here just to undo the two uh, bolts so we can at least open and close the bonnet and use this latch here. So, great, more re repairs. Um, obviously this, Inverter as well, I forgot to mention, has a DC to DC converter built into it. Uh, so we've got high current uh, 12 volt cable here to wire into the fuse box. Um, and we've then just got to figure out these few signal wires here to turn on the DC to DC converter part. So this is a very, uh, very useful um, Inver inverter converter I suppose is the right name for it um, so obviously we need a VCU or a vehicle control unit to pull all of this stuff together to take the information from the Isabel and Hoot uh, shunt the can from that to take can from the inverter here to drive the gauges on the instrument cluster in the cockpit to provide all the old school analog PWM signals to drive the tachometer and the temperature gauge and stuff in there and you know to do things like when we turn the key on to turn on the cooling pumps to initiate pre-charge to power up the inverter um, now the inverter can do some of that stuff for its, uh, itself. Uh, we obviously have to have a gear selection, forward, reverse, all that kind of thing. But the inver inverter handles that. But we do need something to kind of tie the whole uh, build together on an electrical level at least. And in here, uh, to the best of my knowledge, would have been where the original... ECU for the V8 engine uh, would have lived so we're going to be putting um, actually two modules in here uh, which is why you'll see a lot of these cables I've kind of brought to here uh, the charger has to be can controlled as well because uh, that you know would have been obviously in an ampere or a volt uh, so we have to um, send the right can commands to the charger and turn on the uh, turn on the pre-charge and on the high voltage system when the uh, when the vehicle is plugged into charge so 
that's about where we're at on the vehicle itself. Um, so we're getting very near uh, being able to drive this thing for the first time. Uh, what else do I need to tell you? So the good news was the last time we looked here, we didn't know if the whole air sus suspension system uh, worked. It does. Uh, it took about a half hour to build up enough pr pressure, but when it did, the, the car lifted up um, perfectly. Uh, and it took it about three weeks to sink back down again. Uh, so I'm going. I'm going to. I'm going to call that. Call that good. Uh, so obviously it's sank back down, but that's useful for me here now because it lets me get in over things a lot easier than if it was sitting up at uh, at normal uh, height. So all right, I'm going to go now and show you what we're going to be doing just briefly. Uh, for the whole VCU and control system stuff. Alrighty, so we're back in the lab here. And um, so we're going to show you just a couple of little boards here. This one here uh, you might recognize. Um, this is a Lexus GS450H uh, VCU um, board that we designed for using the Lexus um hybrid gearbox and in inverter now in this case uh we are going to repurpose this as a vcu for the range rover it's not worth me doing a custom board for that because it's a one-off build and apart from that i'm certainly never going to be using that um anova drive systems again for anything so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to write some custom software for this uh, guy here and this will let us use the um, contactor driver and relay drivers here for uh, controlling the pre-charge this guy has got two CAN buses on there so we'll be able to talk to the charger the Isabel and Hoot shunt and we'll have Wi-Fi on here as well. So we'll have a Wi-Fi interface um, where we can display uh, where we can display the data about the you know kind of power and voltage and current and kilowatt kilowatt hours and all this. This will also drive the PWM for the tachometer and the all the temperature gauges and all that stuff hopefully keep the car happy uh, so that things like the air suspension system will work properly and the advantage here is that this guy is designed to um, mate with one of these molex uh, enclosures kind of cinch enclosures that have the molex mx 150 uh, connection system on there so this will give us a sealed uh, box that'll do all of the VCUing uh, stuff for us and then we've our revised um, Chidemo control controller and I've made a lot of changes to this uh, from the old JLD 505 system um, I'll make a video on that in the future but this guy uh, will be controlling the DC fast charging for us and um, that's also been designed to mate with one of these um, one of these MX150 um, enclosure systems. Uh, so that's about it, guys. That is what we are going to be doing. So um, the next while now is going to be spent working out the uh, the low voltage control system with this and the CAN bus and all that. Uh, but we will be um, hopefully driving the old strange ro rover uh, very soon. So I'm going to leave you there. Um, as usual, uh, check the links in the description for whatever I put in there. Things like the open inverter forum if you have questions or you want to follow this build. Patreon and PayPal, should you wish to financially support me in these crazy endeavors. Um, 
and whatever else with like JLC PCB for getting boards made and um, yeah pretty much anything else that I can stick in there that you might find interesting so that's it for our deranged rover update I uh, hope you've enjoyed this one uh, we will be back uh, fairly soon we're gonna be breaking away a little bit from that now we have to do some model 3 um, drive unit stuff now over the next week or so so that's it don't forget to dislike do not share and unsubscribe from this crappy channel and until then happy range rover vcu programming <laughs>